distract the infested while a lone Tenno operative hunts for supplies. Set off the alarms to start. The infested are releasing toxic spores into the area. The emergency life support I am delivering is your only chance for survival. delivered a life support capsule to the area. Activating it will buy you more time. Welcome, Coffeezilla guys. Today we have a bit of a different you know, thing going on. We're going to do, I don't know what to call this series yet, but we're going to start talking to people who run real businesses with legit jobs to teach some of you guys that after you get out of the guru bubble, what do you do? How can you set yourself up for success? And I know a lot of you guys, some of you want to go alternate career paths. I'm a big fan of trade school. I don't think everyone needs to go to college. So for our first guest today, um, I'm very to happy to have probably the biggest plumber on YouTube, <laughs> uh, Roger Wakefield, who's here to tell us a bit about the plumbing trade, how you can get into it, um, and why you should consider it as a viable career option. Thank you, Roger, Steven, for, for coming on the show. No, thanks for having me here. I appreciate it. Yeah, so to get into it, um, I think more than most trades, people think of maybe plumbing as like dirty. Um, they don't really understand what goes on in a day in the life. And sure, I'm sure you get your hands dirty from time to time. But uh, tell me a bit about how you got started. I was actually... 16 years old i was managing a restaurant i was a junior in high school and late one night i'm working with a real good friend of mine and i mean still one of my best friends today and we're talking and i had actually quit school and he looked at me and said you know so what are you going to do he said are you going to manage restaurants forever and i said dude i'm 16 years old i'm managing a restaurant life is good i was probably making five bucks an hour or something and he said, you know, what happens if you get fired? Who's going to hire a 16 year old restaurant manager? And it was crazy. Not long after that, I either quit or got fired. I contacted, he was telling me that night about his three brothers and his father that were all plumbers. And I remembered that conversation. So I contacted one of his brothers. I got into plumbing and I fell in love with it. I found out later that I had to have my diploma or something in order to get my plumbing license. So I went ahead and luckily I was far enough ahead when I quit. So I went back to high school, graduated with my class and got back into plumbing. And that, that's how it all started for me. You said you fell in love with it. That's what I'm most interested in. Because I think a lot of people, they think of life callings as if some siren in the sky is gonna sing down to them and say, you should be a whatever. Uh, and I'm of the mindset this is my personal belief that you fall in love with what you're an expert at. And as you get better at something, you fall in love with it more because your expertise really conveys a sense of like purpose and meaning. Did you find that to be true or how did you fall in love with plumbing? In the beginning, it was, it was something I enjoyed. We were literally, it was a remodel, a commercial remodel is the very first project I ever did. 
but it blew my mind how you could take a building and add on to it and tie on to the existing plumbing electrical structure and, and just make it bigger. And I tell people all the time, if you're interested in getting into the trades and remember not just plumbing, but the trades. Exactly. And I tell people, you know, do you like to build things or do you like to fix things? If you like to build things, you probably want to get into the new construction end of it. If you like to fix things, you probably want to get into the service side of it. And then I go on from there and I ask people, do you want to do residential, which is just one or two story houses, something like that? Right. Or do you want to do commercial and build big office buildings? One of the biggest jobs that I ever did is I built uh, the two million square foot community hospital here in Dallas, Parkland Hospital.